My name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to convert the CC3 clove and transfer it to Unreal Engine. Just transfer the clove and not included the avatar. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you open your character creator tree at here. You click the clove, just apply a shirt as demo. I apply a shirt, the camisole. All right, next. Check the scenes. The camisole is selected. Click convert to accessory. And then click big current shape and click convert. You will convert the CC clove to to the accessory. Next, you click here, send the character to Iclone 7. In your Iclone 7 here, you need to wait for a while until it finish. Load it, just wait for a while. All right, now you can see this avatar already loaded. Next, you, you press the Q and double click the clove, click here. You scroll down, go and find the attach tool and click detach. Next, you double click the avatar and select the avatar. Press delete button to delete her. Now it just left the clove and this clove is, is the icon prop. Next, what you need to do is open the icon and real life link. And at the same time, you have to open your Unreal Engine game project. In your Unreal Engine game project, you must already have the CC setup and iClone Unreal Live Link. Both plugins already installed in iClone 7 and also Unreal Engine. Next, if you still don't know how to set up the iClone Unreal Live Link or don't know where to download it, you can just scroll down, go to my video description there. I already put the tutorial right there, how to download and set up Icon Unreal Live Link. You can just click into that tutorial link. I already lead you step by step how to get the Icon Unreal Live Link and how to set up, how to set it up in Icon 7 and Unreal Engine. If this step no problem already, next what you are going to do is back to your Icon 7. Open your icon and real life link and click here. You untick place assets in scenes, then close it. Next, you untick everything from here and you go and search for the props here. This is the camisole, make sure you tick it. This is exactly the name. Next, click transfer the file and you need to wait in your Unreal Engine. Just wait for a while, it will automatic pop out once it finish transfer. Now it is transferring. Just wait for a while. All right, once it finished already, you can see it already transferred to the folder under the content folder. RL content and the name is exactly same as your as your cloth name that is named as camisole. Now you can see this is a mesh, a skeleton mesh, which is already in your Unreal Engine. It all automatic follow the body shape. So in your character creator tree here, you can, before you, you make it become an accessory, it still remain as a cloth. You can just adjust any of the body shape from here to shape, to shape it. All right. Now, once already in your Unreal Engine here, what you can do is just close first. Wait, before that, you have to click make static mesh. To make it as a static mesh, the name, you name it as camisole as well. You click OK. Now it will become, become the static mesh. You just need to close this. Next, you go back to the content folder. 
you have a folder named meshes the camisole is here you can just double click it and this is a prop now this is just a static mesh you can set the collision setting it is at here under the collisions the collision complexity you can choose use complex collisions and next you click save and close now it already become become a static mesh there once you play you can see it already have the collisions you can stand on it as well now it have certain collision that's set by you all right this is just the curve all right that's all for today about how to convert the cc3 curve and transfer transfer the curve to unreal engine to make it become a static mesh and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial you receive the notification immediately see you in my next next video enjoy happy animation and game developing see you